What's up guys, it's Metal, and I'm gonna show you how to install my Zara UI into your World of Warcraft folders. So the first thing you'll do is open up the Zara UI zip, and within that there's a readme. You can open that and read these instructions in text if you like, but the gist of it is that you're gonna copy these three folders, fonts, interface, and WTF, over to your World of Warcraft directory. Now if you already have a fonts, interface, and or WTF folder, you're gonna to wanna to right click those, go to rename, and type something like underscore old at the end of it. That way you can have those as a backup in case you want to go back to how your UI was before you installed this. So anyway, you'll drag these three folders over and drop them into your World of Warcraft folder and copy them. Once that's done, you're going to double click WTF, go to account, and then in that there's a folder called your account name, which you will right click, select rename, and type your account name for. Within that, there's another folder called your server name, which you will right click, select rename, and type your server name for. And within that, there's another folder called your character name, which you will right click, select rename, and type your character name for. And once you've done that, you'll basically be done. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to copy these files over to a character that I have set up for this demo. And once you've got all that done, you can log into the game. And now we just need to log into our character. Most things are configured, but there's a couple add-ons that use the WoW Ace library, and for those we need to select a profile, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So here's our demo Kaomu. And when you log in, you'll see the minimap looks kind of funky, just right-click it, go to Copy a Profile, and select Zerabita Area 52. You'll say accept and the UI will reload. That'll get our minimap down there in the corner. And when you mouse over the minimap, you'll see the dominoes icon, which you can right click to open the config of. Go to profiles and select Zara. Then say OK. And now you'll want to move your chat box because it's in the ugly default position. So if you right click the general tab and say unlock, you can drag this all the way to the corner, just above the Titan panel. And I like to drag it so that that button is hidden off the side of the screen, because I don't care about that button, and it serves no purpose. If you right-click it again, you can lock the window, and then right-click one more time, go to the background, and I like to drag the opacity all the way down so that that background only shows up when I mouse over the window. From here, pretty much everything is set up. Uh, you can clear out my SCADA logs uh, from whatever dungeon I was running by right-clicking SCADA and saying reset. Um, but your action bars are all set up. Um, if you shift click, you can drag items around on dominoes and put them in a new place. So you can see there's plenty of stuff there for action bar items, <clears throat> but you can also left click dominoes and there's more action bars if you want to enable them. You'll also notice that there, that there are some hidden action bars over here to the right. So if I go into something like my bags and drag over my hearthstone, that'll put it on one of those hidden action bars and those will only show up when you mouse over them. And they only show up if something is there as well. So it would have to be on this top bar. For that bar to show up. Things like nameplates will work out of the box. You can see them over there. I'm going to go ahead and cast my lightning bolt. So you can see this is pretty much good to go. If you do want to move anything around, you can use shadowed unit frames, which are slash SWF. And I'll go ahead and unlock these so you can see where everything is. And you can move stuff around this way. You really don't need to configure anything though. This is pretty much good to go. Um, and you can also use my weak auras, which are slash WA. There's a lot of them in here. Uh, some are uh, depreciated from my priest that I used to play, so sorry about including those, but they're in there. Um, but there's stuff for necrotic already, so this will show like your necrotic stacks when it's necrotic week. There's a sanguine target one, so if your target, uh, say that boar over there, if he had sanguine, it would appear over that when he was standing in the sanguine. And then, of course, it's also got the uh, party interrupt auras, so this will show, uh, and they, they appear over here ne near where the party frame would be. They'll show when anyone in your party used an interrupt. Soul shards for Demon Hunter soul shard counting will appear there. Last resort, if you're specced into it, would appear down here, only when it's on cooldown, so that'll go over your debuffs uh, if you proc your cheat death. There's also an external bar. So this would be for Paladin, uh, Blessing of Sacrifice, um, Ignore Pain from a Priest, uh, Iron Bark from a Druid, etc. Demon Spikes, when it's up, it'll be this little shield that drains right over your life bar. Uh, and I think that's actually the majority of them, yeah. 
So those are pretty much all the main weak horrors that I use. Oh, no, the big one is, sorry, there you go. That's frailty for Spirit Bomb. Yeah, that's I know I was forgetting something. So that's if your target currently is affected by the Spirit Bomb debuff, which allows you to leech off of them. And that one's super important. Um, so it's, <clears throat> it's right there on top, so you can see how much longer they have on that debuff as it counts down. So anyway, that's how you can set up my UI. And if you have any other questions about this, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. And if you're watching this video and you've never seen it fully in action on my tank, check out my YouTube channel. There'll be another link uh, in the description of a stream archive so you can see it in action. Peace.